Hey guys, well, it may be a little early to be thinking about topwater fish in the middle of winter, but today we're going to paint a topwater popper. Stick with me. Okay, we're going to do a topwater popper. I'm going to do this in a frog pattern. Start out, we need our base coat, so we're going to go with a Createx opaque white and just get a nice, even base coat of white all over everything. If you're doing a popper like this, don't forget up in the mouth. That's important too. All right, there we go. Nice coat of white. Clean up. Start putting on the colors. All right, we're going to do this in a frog pattern. Now, for me, I my favorite frog to throw is a black frog. Now, to be honest with you, I don't really care what color it is on top. I prefer a black belly on my plastic frogs when I can find them. So in this situation, I'm going to do the pattern. I'm going to reverse it where you might usually put a light color and a dark color on top with the light at the bottom. We're reversing this. I want a black belly on this popper. The reason I like the black, when the fish look up at the sky, the dark silhouette to me, I just think that's going to show up better than a white silhouette or a light colored. Maybe that's me and it might not mean anything to the fish, but it means everything to me. So, I'm going to put a black belly on this thing. And I'm going to go black up in the mouth too. I know a lot of times these poppers, you'll see them red in the mouth, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to go black on that one. All right, there we go. Black belly. Kind of simple. Now we're going to go for the top. Let me clean up. Now, for the main body. I'm green for a frog, and I have fallen in love with Createx Pearlized Pearl Lime. I really like this lime color. I use it a lot. I've done frogs in it a lot. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the back of it, lime. We're just going to let it blend down the side as it wants to into that black. We're not going to have to worry too much about lime trying to cover up black because that ain't going to happen. And there we are. Got my black on my belly. Got my lime on top, but that does look kind of plain, doesn't it? So. Here's what we're going to do. I haven't done this in a while. We're going to dig out the toothbrush. We're going to add a little yellow. Heck, we might even add a little black. We'll see when we get to it. All right, we're going to add some color. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to use the paint. I love using the paintbrush. Paintbrush takes no artistic talent whatsoever. If you've got a paintbrush and a finger, you can do this. We're going to start out black. We're going to put a little black on there first. Just going to take and Put a couple drops of our opaque black over here. Now you kind of want to test it a little before you put it on the lure. First time out, just kind of see what kind of a splatter effect you're going to get. Because you're just going to splatter it a little. Remember, you can always put on more. Kind of tough to put on less. You know, there we go. We got some right there on the side. Let's turn him around. We don't want to get too carried away here because... Uh, I want to put on some yellow too. Ooh, there we go, that's enough. That's enough, let's not get carried away with that. All right, let's just grab up some yellow right away. Heck, we ain't even gonna clean up the toothbrush. I'm using some opaque yellow for this right away. Be honest. A little thicker. Well, maybe we will clean up. <laughs> Let me get some of that black out of there. Yeah, we better do that first. Either that or black and yellow makes green. That's not really what I want. All right, we'll see if that helps. Maybe that'll make it a little better, huh? It's still going to give us a little bit. Hang on, I gotta get a little more yellow here. Perfect. And I'll tell you what, it ain't gonna show up very good. It's too light, I think, compared to the light color. 
I'm getting a couple on, but I don't want to get too much. And the problem you're going to run into is that light green is too light for the yellow. I can see a little bit of the yellow. Not a lot, but a little. Uh, and I think our light green is just a little bit too light for it. But that's okay. I'll take the black. Actually, I even got a little bit of dark green where I did mix those two together. Either way, I got some spots on it, and that's what I look for. All right. There we go. Now, this particular blank has oval eyes. The eyes came with this one. So this open popper has the oval eyes in it. I think they're yellow, if I remember right. Let's put some eyes in it, a top coat. Let's see where we stand when we get all said and done. Well, there we go, guys. There's a popper in a frog pattern. Spots didn't quite come out the way I wanted, but hey, the fish only sees the bottom anyway, right? Now, a lot of you guys ask where I get my blanks, so there is a link in the description where I got the blank for this particular lure. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.